welcome to the special edition of Ways to Wear. Now, it's not three ways to wear because I'm going to be showing you so many more. But one of the things I've noticed with clients is they can't always remember or they don't always know different ways to wear belts. So I wanted to give you some inspiration that you can go back on, look at, and just watch how you can reinvent your wardrobe with perhaps some existing pieces you have already. So I'm going to start with one belt that was an addition maybe about a year ago. I've shown it a lot in three ways to wear and I wanted to tell you which one I got and which size so you could make the most of it. So this is my Gucci belt. Now I've worn this over jackets, um, with jeans, over dresses, like it's been so versatile. But the secret is the size. So I actually got the size that fitted me around the hips, I should say. And I've kept all my outfits really simple, so it's all about the belts. So I got it so that it fitted here. Super classic, very easy to wear. But I wanted to maximize it, so I then took it to Minutes, which I'm sure somewhere around where you are, Minutes is where they add extra belts you get batteries from, and I also, added two extra, they're exactly the same. It cost me, I think, 30 dirhams uh, to get two more belt loops and you'd never know. And I'm gonna show you a different way to wear it over a jacket. I would wear this as a look over the blazer. So if you've got an oversized blazer and perhaps you just feel it's a bit too boxy and you don't really like it, then this could be a great way to add shape. And this is what I mean when you need the, the slightly tighter size. See, I've worn it, when I wear it over a dress, I wear it on the last one, and if it's over a jacket, then I will wear it on the second one. And there we have it. Shape, and look number two. So look number three was also over a blazer, but it was a double wrap, and that is my off-white belt. I love this because it's really interesting and it just adds a pop of color, but it's huge. So do you know what? There's so many ways that I've worn this that I probably won't be able to repeat many of them, but if I give you the idea, so we double wrap it, and I would wear it again over a jacket. I've worn this before with um, a tulle skirt and a t-shirt underneath. Um, I've worn it with jeans um, at this level here and wrapped it round twice. Um, so. Now this is a, a really interesting, like, a, like you have on the airlines. <laughs> so it does make it a little bit harder to style it or to put it to go through. So, and I can never remember which ways I've done this, but sometimes I put it in and it works straight away. And other times, it doesn't. So there's so many bits that you could put it through. Yeah, and you could have it just coming down just like that. There are so many different ways. I think I've actually, if I take that out, I think I've even worn it. That way as well. And there you have it. So you could do that over a dress or because it over a jacket of some description, black blazer, and it just adds a pop of color. Let's show you another way. So the secret if you're going to wear it through the belt loops is not to start with this one, but it's to start with the second one if you're going to double belt it. Come laughing because doing it this way does make it much harder to go to the bathroom. <laughs> As I've since discovered, it takes a little longer. So it didn't work well, which is why it needs to be on the next loop. And we play around with it. I feel like I need a bit more extension. So 
So on this one, it could just hang down or you could do it in the same way. And build it through that way. There we go. Now, let me show you another belt. Okay, so this next belt I saw on the window of Topshop, I fell in love with it and it goes really well with boots that I have with silver detailing on it. So when I went into Topshop though, all they had was a medium. And at the time I was like, oh, I really wanted the small, but in actual fact, it was a blessing in disguise because the medium is the best way to wear this. And that's what happens a lot with clients is they always think that they need to get the exact size that's here, but then you lose a lot of flexibility with being able to wear it other ways. So I've worn this, I think with a short tool skirt from All Saints and in this way over this jacket. Now again, what you do is, so it's too big for me here, so it doesn't fit in any of the actual holes. So you take the belt buckle and push it to the side. Okay. Then we bring this one under and then we bring it through this loop here. There we go. So that's through and it can give you a really nice knot and still some shape. Okay, I think why that was a little bit tough was because the other way that I've done it is just straight down the front. And then you can maybe even move that to the side a little bit and then add your silver accessories and that's another way. So I buy most of my belts in a medium. This was another belt that I bought in a medium and I bought this because it goes with one bag. And this is also something else to consider that when you're buying a, a belt, it doesn't necessarily have to match your shoes, just if it coordinates with something else. So in my case, this was coordinating with a Chanel bag that I've got. So this is the medium and it's too big for me. I think too big around the waist, where did I get? Yeah, so it's also too big here. But in the same way, I could potentially get some belt loops put in it, it's new. But I would do this. And the longer it is here, so a medium and a large, if you're smaller, go up one, the more leverage it gives you to be able to under and through. So you can add that and do the little knot and then add a bag. So you've got a belt that matches your bag rather than just your shoes. And then the other way, which was, if I was maybe going to do this, if I was going to do this maybe with a, a dress, for example, so just push the buckle to the side, under, through if you want to make a bow, or down. This one's a bit harder. There we go. No, not with this outfit, but that could be another way that you could do it. And this elongates the overall look for you. So never be put off, buy a belt. My tip would be always buy a belt one size bigger than you actually need because it gives you so much versatility. The only ones that stay waist belts are these ones. And this I've worn multiple times and this just goes great over a dress. But that's the only way. So having lots of choices of belts, they're inexpensive ways to make an outfit look more expensive, an outfit look more polished, and just a bit more styled. My last one, which was probably my most recent purchase, was this one from Mango. And I love the two textures on it. It's rose gold and it's quite casual perfectly with these shoes I'm wearing now that you can't see. Again, I think I took this in the medium. So that works, but it was the, the detailing here I wanted to show you that I've worn, I think, in a three ways. Wow. 
um, what I did was again push the buckle to the side under and then I turned the buckle the other way around and through the belt loop. So what it did was add a little bit of texture with that. And again, you could do that over a, a jacket, a black blazer with Western style boots. And I just love the sort of the detailing here of it and the two tones. So there you have it. I've lost count how many ways that was. How many ways was it? <laughs> I just hope that there was lots of value for you there and something that you can come back and look at on different ways to wear belts. Enjoy and until next time, see ya! <laughs> I've seen lots of bloggers do this but it's where it just hangs down. <laughs> I obviously haven't got the the legs to do this one. Yeah, I've seen like loads of influencers do this on, on the social media. This would just annoy me. I think it's completely impractical. And um, no, this is not even a way to wear it. This does not count as one of my ways. I don't care if other people do it. This is not one of my ways.